Hey everyone, I am Anuj, a second year medical student at GMC Nagpur. Welcome to this channel. If you are new here, then I make videos on anything that would interest me and also help you out. So consider subscribing if you are a medical student especially. And uh, thank you for all the support that you've been giving on on the last two videos. It's just amazing how many people have watched and liked that. Thank you. So coming to today's topic is how I take notes in medical school. So according to me, there are basically three phases in which you can divide your note taking time into. That is phase one is first reading or starting the topic up. Second one is actual writing or taking the notes or typing if you prefer that. And the third or the last phase is actually revision. So all of these phases are equally important. Okay, so starting with phase one. Phase one is when you select a topic which you want. Let's say I want to study immunology in pathology. So I go out there and find the best book I can. Let's say I want to study it from Robinson Cotron. So I take the Robinson Cotron, uh, open the chapter immunology, and then the first thing that uh, you have to do is uh, if if you are the chapter immunity, you will see a lot of key terms like cell mediated immunity or humoral immunity or adaptive immunity. So what those are are actually your main headings and you have to classify your notes on the basis of those headings so if you cover small small things you end up covering the entire topic so uh, as you have done that what you have to do is just go through these small bits and pieces of the divided topics very slowly and cognitively so that what happens is that you take a lot of information in and you understand the concept in the first read itself now, as you've completed just one topic, let's just say I completed the activation of T lymphocytes uh, in reading this. So what happens is that the next thing I will do is I'll enter phase two. Phase two is deriving the notes from the topic you just read. So I will now try to derive notes from the topic which I read, that is activation of T lymphocytes. So uh, the, to the key things that I want to tell you is that make a lot of flowcharts, make a lot of diagrams. And if you combine those, you get diagrammatic flowcharts. Diagrammatic flowcharts are so good. If you wanna, if you are just going for a flowchart like T cell activated, interleukin two activated, it's good. But if you are making a diagrammatic flowchart that this, there's a cell, interleukin two is acting upon on it, that is a very nice way to do it. So you can essentially compress the en entire page of a book into just one simplified uh, diagrammatic flowchart. So really do that. That's very nice. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that you don't have to uh, make a revised edition of the book. So keep your notes extremely concised. For example, uh, this is the book that I'm going to be using for pharmacology. It's just this much. And this one here is for pathology. So in this, just this much book, I'll have the entire thick book summarized. So there's not a need to copy the entire book. You have to just write what you know and what you understand in a very uh, conceptual way and not in a very theoretical way like it's given in the book okay so when you're doing that use a lot of colors use a lot of highlighters because anything that adds beauty to your notes will just encourage you to study it phase 3 is actually uh, what you do when you have done when you're done taking notes read it once before the breakfast and once after the dinner so that it is the first thing you see after you wake up and the last thing you see before you sleep. What it would do is that it would give your brain a lot of time, the entire day time, to think upon what you read in the morning and in the night your brain will process the information when you are sleeping. So revision is a very critical part of note taking. You can't just take notes and then throw them away. You have to revise them thoroughly. And another thing is that, uh, okay, when you are, let's say that you have studied the topic from one book. What you should do is that next time if you let's say you have a lot of time and then you take on another book so if you find any form of new topics in there or new uh, points in there which you are not having your let's say you're watching an online video and you find something which you have not seen in this book just take that up and add it into your notes so what will happen uh, that what will happen in the final is that when you are sitting after you have completed the entire book summarized it into notes you will have a perfect small copy of the most essential and the most critical points of the book into a diagrammatic or flowchart or a very colorful beautiful way and if you just read that you're going to have a nice takeaway from the book so that was the way i take notes and i hope this is helpful for you